the present video is uh, going to discuss uh, problems uh, of gate in the area of uh, semiconductor physics the main topic is of electronic devices so in this uh, this particular video we have uh, taken up uh, three problems of gate like uh, one is for 1995 1997 and the third one is for the year 2003 and uh, since all these problems are of uh, similar nature they have been taken together and the problems are based on the mass action law which is one of the very important law of uh, semiconductor physics and uh, this law also has been used in uh, many other problems uh, of gate and uh, otherwise also it's a very important uh, law and uh, by solving these problems will uh, become more conversant and more competent uh, to apply the law to the given problem so uh, we just read out the problem here this is a gate problem of 1995 say in the area of semiconductor physics this problem states as in a p-type silicon sample the whole concentration is 2.25 into 10 power 15 per centimeter cube the intrinsic carrier concentration is 1.5 into 10 power 10 centimeter cube the electronic the electron concentration is uh, any one of these uh, A, B, C, D options. Since in this problem the whole concentration is given and the concentration for the intrinsic uh, uh, carrier concentration also given. So uh, once the sample is in the thermal equilibrium we can apply the mass action law. This says that N into P, the concentration of electronics into the holes should be equals to the square of the intrinsic concentration. So if we try to find N from this equation, this would be N I squared over P. Now the values for N I and P are given. We can substitute the values the value for Ni is given is 1.5 into 10 to the power 10 this whole squared over the value for P the value for P is given at 2.25 10 to 15 so this value is given at 2.25 into 10 to the power 15 per centimeter cube now if we solve this, if we take a square of this, this will become 2.25 into 10 to the power 20 over uh, this becomes here 2.25 into 10 to the power 15. Now uh, we can see this cuts uh, numerator and denominator 2.25, so we get the value for n equals to 10 to the power 5 over centimeter cube. So this is the kind of concentration for the electron and uh, this is option C here. So this option C is the right choice. Option C is the right choice in this uh, particular problem. Now we'll take uh, another uh, problem of gate that is of uh, 1997 and uh, this problem also is of similar nature we will just read out the problem here the intrinsic carrier density at 300 K is 1.5 into 10 per 10 centimeter cube in silicon for n type silicon doped to 2.25 into 10 per 15 atoms per centimeter cube the equilibrium electron and hole densities are so both the values n and p are given here and you have to see what is the right choice here. Now in this problem the nd is given that uh, how this is 
doped, n-time silicon is doped. So the donor uh, concentration is given, that is 2.25 into 15 atoms, uh, atoms per centimeter cube. And the value for Ni is also given, that is 1.5 into 10 power 10. Now we can apply the mass action law here. So we can write here NP equals Ni square. I can write the value for P equals to Ni squared over N. And uh, we substitute here Ni squared is known to us 1.5 into 10 to the power 10 whole squared over. Now there is a concentration N here the value for N. Since the silicon is doped to 2.25 10 power 15 atoms per centimeter cube, if all the atoms are ionized, you will get the concentration as same as the number of uh, donors. So it will be 2.25 into 10 to the power 15. This is the kind of uh, concentration you get. This could be written as, you can further simplify into 10 to the power 20 over 2.25 into 10 to the power 15. So here also again it comes to 10 to the power 5. So this comes to 10 to the power 5 per centimeter cube and uh, so in this case the option C is the correct option so option C is the correct option in this problem now the third problem is of uh, gate uh, 2003 this also uh, based on the mass action law uh, the statement of problem the intrinsic uh, Carrier concentration of silicon sample at 300 K is uh, 1.5 into 10 power 16 meter cube. And if after doping the number of majority carrier is 5 into 10 power 20 per centimeter per meter cube, the minority carrier density is any of this choice. Uh, the value for Ni is known to us given here 1.5 into 10 power 16 per meter cube. N, the electron density is 5 into 10 power 20 per meter cube. Please note here the concentration of uh, intrinsic and the electron the other carriers is given in terms of meter cube. Earlier it has been in centimeter cube and that's why these figures are much higher maybe by the order of 10 plus 6. So that is to be noted. So P by the mass action law we can apply P equal to Ni square over N so Ni squared is 1.5 into 10 to the power 16 whole squared over N that is 5 into 10 to the power 20. So if you simplify this we get 4.5 into 10 to the power 11. So the option here the A option is the right option. So we can say the right option is option A for this problem. So what we have observed here, all the three problems uh, considered are of the similar nature and uh, they are simple substitution into the mass action law. Thank you please.